Gonna be Krongs the first up. Already getting a couple of ambushes, pistol shots onto the Petter Vegar. Got him so the Seps is trying to see if maybe the Seps is gonna do a lot of damage. Got him back to back ambushes while Shadow Dancing as an owl of the rogue. Shadow Step towards Regar doing quite a bit of damage though. Regar is gonna have to find a way to stop the rogue. He's gonna be a big blade rush. The poison does take through. Wait, oh my god, Regar almost died. He had a poison on him. That poison did take out at the very last second. The Owl of the Rogue does not play into any kind of blaze. Pistol shots. Oh, no. Just banged him up with those pistol shots at the end. Didn't give the man a chance. The man just had to play defensive. That's all he could do. Stormbolt and Krongza, seeing the warrior going for big damage, is going to trink it out of it. Seeing the full cooldowns coming out of him. Evasion, going to be potentially disarmed. Disarm was used. Blind. And Grug did try to see if he could put some bleeds on the rogue. The rogue has a grapple hook. Maybe he could kind of get an angle on the rogue to get a, a charge towards him. Krongs with a quick pistol shot. Going in for a couple of ambushes, getting a shot onto Grook. Every time he's a kidney shot, he's gonna use it. As soon as the DRs are down, he's gonna go for a killing spree. He's gonna get a little bit of damage for him. Grook does burn a big defensive on a killing spree. Could it be Grook trying to go for a bit of damage? Odin's Fury tied his grip. He got himself with a big avatar at the ready. It's gonna be a kidney shot onto him. Grook as Krongs are trying to get a bit of extra damage towards the Fury Warrior. Disarm right after as Krongs is gonna take a few for just a second. Try to see if he can avoid Grook next. Stormbolt could be very, very deadly. Krongs does he have any more survivability later? He got a lot of pistol shots. A lot of pistol shots. And I think that's evasion on him too. But the Stormbolt is gonna stop a lot of the evasion. Big sepsis onto Grook. That could do it potentially a lot of damage. Grook trying to see if he can avoid it. This is where Krongs is burning uh, grip, uh, grapple as well as shot us to big damage on Grook with poison. Oh! My god, Sepsis actually does a lot of damage, apparently. Skelligar charging out towards the rogue, but a quick gouge is going to stop him in place for just a second. Does go in for a quick uh, cheap shot to follow, grappling out of there, bailing out of the way from the man. That's going to go for pistol one, pistol two, potentially going to be a disarm to follow. Does say his own infernal out the open cloak shot is for Kongzu. Getting a kidney shot towards Skell. Does he have any defenses? He needs some kind of CC in order to get away from Skell. Does have a killing spree to like blast him out through all directions. Actually does a decent amount of damage. Is going to try to see if he can avoid him. Gouge unable to be hit. Double ambush does does go through. Does this guy pistol shots? As long as he really got his ambushes and pistol shots. Trying to see if he can just hit him from range. Does he get to take him down? Blade rush. Oh my god, this rogue. How are you still alive? Hold on, how are you still alive? The Outlaw Rogue, man. Look at this guy. Sepsis, huh? I haven't thought of using Sepsis at all, though. Interesting. Glitch is going to be out in the open. Glitch is feeling pretty confident versus Krongza. He knows, like, you know what? It's an Outlaw Rogue. I don't think I could die here. Gouge, Krongza, getting hit with a kidney shot. Good trinket it. Does go for a trinket. Evasion up and running immediately. Cheap shot towards Glitch. Big damage. Does he get to take him down? Blind Glitch is surviving with a Battle Master's trinket. If he didn't burn a Battle Master's trinket, he might have actually died there. Krongza, does he get to escape? No, sab by the rogue. Does go for a shadow strike. Blind right after. He does not trinket it. He waits for a kidney. He waits for a kidney. Or cheap shot. Or cheap shot. Gouge by Krongza. Does he have a go? A drone rush to the ready. Kid shot gonna be a meter trinket. Trying to see if we can walk up from him. Kid shot by the rogue. I don't think Krongza lives this unless somehow. Disarm? Oh, but a <laughs> but, <laughs> but the bla the uh, was the shirk of storm. Is gonna take him down. He had no help whatsoever. That was so close, dude. That was insanely, insanely close. Big blade dance by BD. But Glitch is gonna hit him with a gouge. Look at you. Huh? Hold on, Anton. Hold on a second. Anton. No. No way, Anton. Oh, you did not. You did not, dude. What is this? Okay, okay, okay. To give context, don't get me wrong. That was cheating. But he's tired of Glitch. Glitch has been winning so many of these games tonight. He's so tired of him, he's gonna grip him. <laughs> oh no, Anton, don't do that. I know you, hate, I know you don't like rogues. Uh, uh, Glitch in particular in these duels, but man, you can't do that. You can't be doing that. Alistair trying to see if he can survive through BD. Can he do a big hunt? Touches from around the corner. BD trying to see if he can cleave down Alistair. The man is just getting absolutely butchered right now. Out in the open arena and BD as it goes, oh. Just slices right through him with an eye beam my god you gotta be kidding me right oh my goodness gouge by jesus by glitch into a kidney shot i have immediately but jesus got himself the ams blinder to the rogue opener i just tried to see if he can make that cold blood open happen with that secret technique could it be stunned by jesus Summoning another pet, transforming it. Going to be a full army join in. Stunned by the main pet. Going to be major so the dead join in. Collector shot is by the rogue. Try to see if we can find an angle to shadow step towards Jesus. Is going to be able to dive into the cell from a shadow meld. As he doesn't have any dots from a collector shadows. And is just going to avoid Jesus while he's got his pet transformed and the army ready. Group hand up and running. Dots have AMS. The stuns are coming through for Glitch. But it's going to end up DRing all of them. Gold joins into the duel. And Glitch is going to take a bit of damage from it. This is where Jesus got to heal himself as much as possible. The more ruining power you spend. 
the stronger your ghoul becomes. So the more burning power you spend, I think, to heal or even death coil, the better it's gonna be. Got himself a big pet, someone in with the A bomb. The ghoul's actually doing a bit of work. That's gonna be the main transformation from your main pet. Gonna be getting shot by the rogue. Is it gonna be enough? The main pet's still attacking you, but I think he may be down stone to Glush. Does go for a trick just to see if he can get the quick of his rain onto the death. They didn't want to let him recover at all. Who's up next? It looks like it's gonna be Yasem versus Glush. Does he have enough damage to potentially beat a rogue here? It is a demonology warlock. Demon dogs potentially getting shot into Yasa. Does go for a big dark pack. This way he needs to summon as many demons as possible before the big, big. Oh, never mind. Vanish out of Glues. He knows that there's going to be a lot of pets out of Yasa. He knows he doesn't really want to fight him. Something got him out of combat for, or out of self for just a second. Other pets are going to be able to find him blind. Maybe the pets can still reach him. The pets were walking at him for just a second, but no, my goodness. He got himself with the Tri Army. Look at him and the homies. I love the fact that people are playing Nether Portal on PvP, by the way. The fact that it's super effective just makes me happy. Gonna be the main pet charging back out towards Glue's man is evasion. Maybe he's trying to see if he can avoid an axe sauce. Did the pet axe sauce already? If it didn't, that means the warlock could be in trouble. Just try to go in for a kick, missing it. Yasha gets himself a little bit of a haze buff and immunity to CC for just a second. He just sees that kid is shot to be back off of cooldown. But does Yasha have a way to stop it? Is it gonna be the pet right next to Glue's? Does he get to avoid the axe sauce? Secret technique doesn't quite crack through Yasha's defenses. The, war the rogue is trying to do his very, very best to fight through the warlock, but the drains are coming through. There goes the axe sauce. Does he have any? to follow this way you need an axe to stop him wall out for yes it does go for the axe the second pet joins in trick it out of the rogue does he have enough to finish it here looks like we're trying to see if he can go to reset but the main pet is on him still spinning on him and the ghost that's how does he not get put out of self how does this man not be able oh my god the main pet is still on there how does he know first of all how does how do you how how are you still in stealth while he's spinning on you like a Beyblade? Second, how did that pet still know you were there? Get the shot back onto Yasin, but the mortal call is sending the rogue out. I think the rogue may be going down here. The main pet still knows you're there. How does he know? He just knows. Wait, what's going on? Hold on, the rogue is not dead. Wait, oh, what is happening? Hold on a second. Alistair charged up maybe a little early. He thought the rogue died. You and the rogue basically double teamed him at the very end. Hold on a second. Wait, should Yasin get another go? Should Yasin get be res real, res real quickly? The only one that can res him is in cap. Sacrifice the main pet, summon a new one, let's burn up to get a couple of death calls, but they're so reduced to 30% dampening. With in cap, charge it back out. Lex up to Alistair. Big Night Fay. That potentially could be massive damage. Strike of the Windler does a bit of damage, but not nearly as much as it is to the big one shot. Just doesn't exist as well. My goodness. Alistair still super low on health. Summon the upper an army of the dead, but the fist of fear pairing him out doesn't let him play gonna be a night fate for incap big serenity on top of but could be in trouble does get himself a lava burst massive procs karma muted for on cap trying to see maybe if he can just avoid and reverse the damage back to unstoppable lexium trick gets it immediately gonna be that rude doesn't have a way out gonna be a quick hex and unstoppable just wants to establish control over incap there goes the Stormkeeper. Another Lava Burst. Mad damage. Oh my god. The Prox. This man just ascending. Needs himself the Lightning Bolt right then and there. Maybe one more Lava Burst. This guy is just destroying them, man. Gonna be a Diffuse Magic for Incap. Trying to avoid it. Second stun. Oh, the pet. Oh, the totem is so good. Zap. Oh. Man, that damage is good. Okay, so he's a burst of two. He got a good sustain, but when he procs, he procs. It is insane. Got himself a little bit of defense. Gonna be shields available. Kiosk with some damage. Kill shots to follow. Last out to Kiosk. Does it shrink it? This one's unstoppable. Does walk out, but the body shot stuns him. That's super unfortunate. Earth shock onto Kiosk with a frost shock to follow. At least able to CC him for just a second. Got the roots on lockdown, but the man at no help whatsoever. Needs to avoid the skill shots as best as he can. Gonna be at another root onto Kiosk as well as the pad. The roots do entangle his feet. And Kiosko, I don't know if he still has coordinate assault or not, but better be careful because it is lightning in Unstoppable's hands right now. Got a flame shock onto the main pet. I think Kiosko's trying to pull back, maybe trying to just control Unstoppable. Is going to see that freezing trap attack him, and there goes the manic bandage. This way, you need to get a flame shock onto Kiosko to deny him any kind of healing. Stun around the corner. I think it might be over. Kiosko does go for death shock from Harpoon right after Wall for Unstoppable. What could this man do in this situation? Try to go for a lasso, but the kill shots of the bleeds were already in. And Skelliger. Does this man just go take it? What the? That is a rude effect. Does someone in a demon? Random proc of a Shivara has that on the back foot in case he wants to use it to either. Kioska leaves. <laughs> Kioska just left. Kioska did not want to find out what would happen. He's just down. He's out. Anton Badan, last one left on the team one. I don't know how Anton is going to be able to do this, man. As on a holy death knight, it looks like dampening. All you can do is do damage. All you can do is go in for some damage, man. And Anton Badan having to go for a death pack, trying to avoid the hunt, is able to do it. He needs to find a way to potentially stun the hunt as it hits him. 
as a smid air because then you could kind of stop it ams for that stunned uh, immunity but Anton Madonna, no help whatsoever. Summons up an entire army of the undead, and they're chasing after Skell. Skell, I think, maybe in trouble. Does go for the big hunt. Oh my god, he just goes in like a missile. My god, this man right here. Oh my god. Okay, he's only got one, but I guess he never fought Kioska, so I guess that makes sense he got only one.